Hello and welcome to this junk journal tour. I recently finished this junk journal. It is my second junk journal um, that I made myself out of a Amazon mailer. If you would like to learn how to make a junk journal exactly like this, uh, the course is up on my website. I will leave a link in the description. Okay, let's go and let me show you what is in here. So um, I'll kind of flip through and talk through kind of what it means and what I think about it. Um, so first of all, I made this art journal out of a cardboard mailer, as you can see. Um, I put in two signatures um, where um, the you can see it goes, the binding goes on the outside. I uh, painted this. I don't really like this, to be honest. It was an experiment. I had this idea of doing little blocks and it just didn't really work out the way I envisaged, which just shows you that I shouldn't try and paint things with a fixed idea. Anyway, it says full of myself because it's a little word joke, because it's like being full of yourself, but also this whole journal is full of things that have to do with me. Um, so I like this flap thing that is inherent in that mailer. Um, this was kind of... Uh, continuing that theme of the boxes and I always put the start and end year uh, of a journal onto my journals. I usually put it on the spine um, and on the first page but in this case I felt like it could fit there although I might still add, add uh, the dates to this as well. So I find that a junk journal is such a good place to experiment with doing things that are kind of junky and imperfect. Um, as you can see in this starting, this was um, must have been around the start of 2020. I was into doing things with um, uh, devil horns, little devil girls, very imperfect, very raw, really textured. Um, I made these signatures out of a variety of different papers. So um, some of these papers are like magazine pages. Some of it is printer paper. So really thin and flimsy stuff. And then also stuff that is a bit thicker. Um, so in my journaling, I always put like notes to myself. So this says, I celebrate, welcome and embrace my real self to this journal. All sides of me kind of just encouraging myself to not filter in here. Uh, this is a very different page than I would usually do, very different style, um, trying to just be curious. I think that when you have a quite established style, it can sometimes be difficult to break out from that. And not, you know, I, not that you might necessarily want to, but it can be interesting to try different things. Um, more Devil Girls. Um, these are done with lots of watercolors, so I use Schmincke watercolors and they're very vibrant. This was an experiment with uh, oil pastels. Um, and more journaling and more of that very raw and textured kind of look, lots of scratching. I think this was one of the first paintings I did where I did the creepy eye, so that's kind of like the genesis of that. I don't think that came before. Oh yeah, there was one there. Um, but I have to say, I don't work chronologically. So I think I worked chronologically in this journal up until about here or here. Um, although I think this was the first page I did actually. I don't really remember, but I worked roughly chronologically and then I started working not chronologically. So it's kind of like a look at my art over the last couple of years but not necessarily in chronological order. Oh, I like this. I added a post-it note that had some stamping and some scraps on it, like in, in, incorporating that. I also really like the feel of some of these pages, um, which I think was achieved with, um, with transparent gesso, which has got a lot of like kind of textured tooth. So I think I'm gonna just say at every page, I'm gonna say, oh, this is more experimentation. I like these little flaps, which you can achieve in signatures by binding in little bits of card that are not the full width of the signature. This is one of my very favorite pages. I really like these flowers. I really like the colors. I like how dark and raw it is. I think this is in one of my sticker sets. I was experimenting with like doing flowers, but in the hair. 
Um, this was a kind of a scary page, like trying to <laughs> trying to try things, trying to try things. I'm very eloquent. Um, really trying to push kind of ugly, I guess, and not pretty. Um, don't really like this. I think there's something about the eyes and the mouth and the neck that I don't like. I do quite like this one with the little animal. Um, this is a more recent one, actually, just coming back to those devil horns. This is very recent. Uh, you would have seen this in a recent paint and chat video. Um, I really like this. It was an old sketch that I then went and finished, and I really like just the quirky craziness of it. This um, was a piece of a leaflet from a Modigliani exhibition that I went to and this is a study of this little painting here. Uh, I love this page a lot. This is one of my favorite things that I ever did with this really big weird eye and just the kind of the color combinations and stuff. Uh, this is a bit older again. Sometimes I write things that are kind of um, going around in my head as I'm working, you know, lots of thoughts come up as I am working in my journal and usually I just write them down and they become part of the art piece. This is another one of my favourites. I love these colours. I love the purple and like the blotchiness and then the fluorescent pink and this kind of bright grassy yellow green. Not loving this one. I feel like the proportions are a bit off and it's funny because I make quite disproportionate work anyway but sometimes it's it's like not deliberate it's off and it's not deliberate and then it just doesn't work to me here is a quite rare abstract page of mine um, it's called negative capability this is unfinished um, but I didn't feel like I could add anything else to it so I just left it like this this, I think, was a life book taster session um, that we had fun with. Lots of eyes. Trying new things. Um, this was very thin paper. I think I remember struggling with it because of the thin paper. Um, I really like these are shapes that were in my art years and years ago, maybe like six, seven years ago and I was bringing them back. I don't remember, maybe I saw something, some old artwork of myself and my own and then got inspired by it. Um, this was a draw this in your style challenge. Um, so basically somebody posts one of their artworks on Instagram and then they invite you to draw the same artwork but translate it into your style. I really quite like this. Um, although the process was a bit too deliberate for my liking, because obviously I was trying to create something that looked a certain way. Um, this was a, a Book of Days lesson as one of my favourite pieces, and I was so pleased that I got this on film and turned it into a lesson. I was really, really pleased with that. Uh, so that was on Book of Days. I think that was Book of Days 2020. Um, this was a bit of a weird one. Uh, but I like it because it's so weird. I do love kind of keep pushing things. And this was extra, extra weird. I wrote about this piece in a uh, recent Instagram post um, where I talked about kind of pushing the boundaries of ugly because a lot of my art, even though it's raw and it's quirky, there's still a certain pretty aesthetic and when I did this sketch, it really felt so ugly to me. Um, and it, I created the sketch and then didn't do anything with it for quite a long time. And I finished it more recently. I came back and I added the eyes and I kind of just added details and more kind of making it look more finished. Um, but it was quite difficult, I think, for me to come back to it because it felt so, um, yeah, like not that pretty aesthetic, but more kind of raw and ugly and embracing that is is kind of difficult. So I left the last page, just the, the regular paper. Um, here's a little bug that I that died in my journal uh, when we were on holiday and I put some gel medium over it um, to preserve it there forever. Um, and um, that was it. I didn't paint these covers. I didn't paint the back, but I did paint the front. 
And so that is my little junk journal. I do love these junk journals. I love the freedom that they give you. More freedom to me than uh, a blank journal, like a shop bought journal with blank pages. The blank pages can still feel a bit intimidating. This is so, um, I don't know, it is made out of things that you would normally call trash. You know, you would normally either, you know, throw away or recycle these mailers or you'd reuse them. Um, the, these papers of magazines that you finished with or, you know, um, old leaflets, that kind of thing, you would throw them away. So making a journal out of those types of materials, it is a great... Um, I don't know, like it gives you so much freedom to just play and to just do whatever in a journal like this. So I really like that. And I will have to sit down and make myself a third one soon because I'm going to miss working in this journal. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this little peek into my junk journal. If you have your own experience with junk journals, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!